नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सीआईटी एनसीईआरटी's लाइव फोन इन इंटरैक्टिव प्रोग्राम माय नेम इज तन्वी खुराना इन दिस इंग्लिश क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू ब्रश योर राइटिंग स्किल्स स्टोरी राइटिंग दैट इज द सब्जेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप फॉर ऑल द 9th क्लास स्टूडेंट्स यू वाचिंग अस ऑन पीएमई विद्या चैनल नंबर 9 If you have any questions regarding your writing skills especially story writing then please reach out to us give us a call on our number 8800440559 and if you want to email us the email id would be dth.class9@ciat.nic.in we have a guest with us who will be explaining what are story writing skills that we need to discuss in this program and she is miss poonam kapoor welcome Ma'am. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon, ma'am. Namaskar. Ma'am is an English teacher, formerly with Kendriya Vidyalay Sangathan, with 38 years of experience. So let's begin this discussion, and uh, I want to ask ma'am the first question, and that would be, ma'am, story writing in class ninth syllabus is a guided activity. So can you please elaborate what exactly is a guided activity? correct tanvi you have asked me the very relevant question that the story writing question in class 9 syllabus is the only question which ha- which is which has the weightage of 10 marks see 10% of the marks are based on this question story writing skill now this story writing skill is a creative writing skill and it involves critical thinking when you ask me that how is it a guided uh, activity how is it a guided skill so let me tell my students that it is guided in the sense that you are provided with verbal input aapko hints diye jate hain opening lines are given sometimes opening lines are given sometimes a few words and phrases are given and you have to elaborate according to your imagination according to your creativity and make it a original work and sometimes you know if verbal input is not there hints are not there you who are given a visual clue some picture is given good picture di jati hai and on the basis of that picture you have to elaborate it into a story so that is why we call it we call it as a guided activity Okay all right so ma'am uh, if i ask this question on the students behalf so what are the points that the students should keep in their mind while writing the story uh, based on any visual input they have visual input all right like they are given a picture any picture is shown to them and they are asked to elaborate on the basis of the picture now suppose uh first of all before that let me tell you that students must always keep in mind that what is the distribution of these 10 marks that will really help them elaborate and give wings to their imagination the marking scheme they have to supply a suitable apt title title is one mark then content the main story line that they are inventing that they are imagining it is 4 marks 4 and 1 5 then 2.5 marks for accuracy they have to write short crisp and correct grammatically correct sentences and fluency there should be proper sequence and they be able to grab 10 on 10 that i can watch so you ask me a question that uh, what should children keep in mind while attempting visual a question based on visual input so that picture is given see that picture critically analyze what has happened what has happened and what is happening and what can happen later they have to imagine see the question is same for everyone and you will be getting different answers in the answer sheet so on the basis of that picture you have to analyze you have to think what has led to that situation suppose a girl is drinking water from a tap this picture is given so you will think that why she is um, uh, trying so hard for a single drop of water 
what has led to this situation what is happening she is drinking she is finding it very hard she is looking at the drop of the water to come and if the same situation continues what can happen kya ho sakta hai so uh, you have to elaborate the story on the basis of that okay Ma'am, ideally there are so many characters in a story. So, what according to you is the perfect number of characters that should be in a story? Sanvi, you have asked me a very very good question that the students find it difficult in the exam. Yeah. Characters, see, fewer is better. Keep in mind, fewer is better. main protagonist main character is called protagonist one character main character has to be there and then you can invent your supporting character now these characters can be a man boy woman parent teacher doctor according to the story you can invent um, n number of characters but fewer is better as i told you the uh, character the character can be dead it can be alive it can be a ghost it can be imaginary character a robo a toy and so on and so forth you have to give names to your character see read the question carefully okay so like she said uh, that there are characters in a story which she was explaining let's look at the uh, picture here and try and understand the story writing what all <laughs> things are there in a story writing ma'am are you with us ma'am are you with us ma'am can you hear me yes yes sami you have shown a very good touch with you Okay. Uh, yes, I can hear you. So, uh, ma'am, your voice. I can hear. You. So, in the. Ma'am, can you hear me? Okay. So we are facing a technical glitch here. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. So. Ma'am, your audio is breaking. We can't hear you. You can't hear me. Am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Now you are. Oh. So. Uh, okay. Oh. All right. Um, ma'am, we can't hear you. There's a technical glitch which is happening. So uh, let's look at the. um picture we have on screen and try and understand uh, what story writing is all about yes okay um so there's a technical glitch we're facing uh, but before that uh, let me remind you that there are multiple options you all have uh, to connect with us to participate in this program you can call us on our number which is 8800440559 Let's get back to our expert, and she is Miss Poonam Kapoor, ma'am. Could you please continue where you left? Yes. So we were discussing about the character. You will give names to your characters, and then there can be secondary supporting character, and you can always have. What is the story line? It is the flesh and muscle of the story. So it has to be simple. It has to be very, very trusting, isn't it? So sequence of the events and their action are very important. They constitute the plot. You have to add some problem, some problem, describe it and. Also give us give us solution. Give us solution. And the most important thing is that do not accept the word limit. But write the first two pages for two hundred words. We have discussed the. Tanvi has asked me a very good question on characters, on the plot, on the guided activity, 
and the next important element is setting of the story setting of the story the time in the place and here i will advise you to keep some ready made sentences on the time of the day they will enhance your confidence if you have some ready made very good sentences with you suppose you are describing early morning time so you will write down how was the, how was the sky looking what were the activities being performed what sounds were coming at that time the chirping of the birds the milkman was riding on the bicycle to try to deliver the milk like that so setting of the story is also very important and the setting of the story can be in school hospital office home anywhere birthday party moving train or the platform so the setting of the story is also very important characters then plot then setting of the story and last but not the least the theme the main theme is the central idea of the story it can be suspense it can be a thriller it can be adventure but keep one thing in mind you are not to use whatsapp language see i told you that accuracy is very important you are not to write whatsapp language and also avoid using message language or fill in the blanks like that sentences should be short brief and crisp grammatically correct now important uh, question that comes to students mind is that what tense should be used see throughout the write up there should be one tense and preferably it should be simple past tense v2 subject plus v2 second form of the verb the sun uh, the uh, the birds flew second second form of the verb is to be used and uh, this will help you grab good marks no punctuation mistakes no spelling mistakes the title has to be it should be you use casing to write the uh, to write the title so you have to put it like this title has to be put inside the rectangular or square shape case it properly and avoid quotations the uh, title should be one word two to three um, words that is if you are writing a phrase and mind one thing that avoid writing question marks the events in the story now the most important thing is that when you are writing a story prepare a rough draft keep on writing as if you are telling that story to a friend over a cup of coffee do not stop in between to edit keep uh, your thoughts must come to your mind and keep on jotting them down and once it is over then you will edit it using coder c o d e r coder now what is coder c stands for content you have already written jotted down on the points content is there organize them well in a proper sequence you have to organize it then develop it so that your word limit of 150 words to 200 words is also met then edit it put it in a proper sequence what should come first and what should follow what and last of all again rewrite it so you have to arrange your points logically now this story writing see the characters um, the, the characters in the picture are monkey yes. and the little girl yes. what is the setting of the story the monkey was sitting on the tree hmm. what is the problem you can see the umbrella hmm. umbrella the girl must be having umbrella it got stuck on the tree or something whatever you have imagined and then last of all you will find out the solution content how to develop the content you have to have some problem describe it and find the solution solution see now here monkey as you can see in the picture monkey was sitting on the tree rain umbrella stuck on the tree and you will give the name to this little girl geeta sita or whatever you want to give and 
how she will get the banana back from the monkey isn't it yeah. now what is the role of the little girl the little girl must be playing in the park and it started raining so how you will develop this picture into a story of 150 to 200 words you have to think over keep on writing the sentences that will form the content then order them in a proper sequence develop put good adjectives describe it edit it and last of all rewrite it i give you one example see this i usually give to the students in the class okay um, ma'am we have got last couple of minutes left for this session okay okay please please ask me this question yeah so uh, you've already explained about the setting i would like to ask you uh, to suggest or to advise a tip or two regarding the ending of the story which is very crucial yes it is said all is well that tends well aapne bahut acha kaam kiya hai but if it ends is well surely you will impress your examiner because the purpose of writing story is to uh, grab full marks so end uh, of the story is equally important as i have already told you that this content has proper start proper body and end now the end of the story there can be two types of questions open open type like you can leave the solution to the reader they can supply their own end the story can end that way also or you can leave a clear message or a moral in the end of the story end of the story can be of open type with a clear cut outcome it can also have a clear message but whatever the end is you should properly close the story the closing is equally important as the opening of the story in the opening of the story you will write the same lines as given in the question paper but the end is up to you whether you leave the decision of the story the events in the story for the readers to decide or you may give it a proper ending proper ending with a message with a moral and children i will also uh, if you permit me tanvi i can tell them that they can prepare some ready made sentences on the setting of the story on the uh, they can use good adjectives and keep them in their pockets and they can use it in the pocket in the in the sense that they can keep it in the mind and they can use good adjectives for characters according to the characters if it is, if it is a good character then what kind of adjectives they can use and funny characters what type of words they can use mm. so they can keep it ready and wherever they are struck the most important tip i would give them wherever they are struck nothing is coming to their mind he start reading the question the question has many clues it will give you ideas how to elaborate how to end it how to develop it so that is very important oh. and the most important thing is till you have some time you can read one story every night before going to bed read one story that will help you to go from known story to the unknown story that you will have to write on you okay all right thank you so much ma'am for all these important tips and advices you just gave to all our students and viewers they are really really important when they'll be attempting their examinations they are really going to be uh, they uh, need these um, tips and uh, they'll write a beautiful story thank you so much ma'am for giving us your time for this program thank you thank you tanvi it's a pleasure and i wish my students all the best thank you Thank you to all the participants for watching this program. I'm sure you liked it. If you haven't seen it, please see it again on NCERT official our YouTube channel. And uh, with this, we are wrapping up this program. But that's not the end. We are coming up with uh, our special program webinar on uh, ICT tools, and uh, we'll be discussing the topic plagiarism and need and importance of copyrights. So stay with us. Don't go anywhere, and take great care of yourself. Namaskar.